Hello everybody, welcome to the season finals. We've got Moomin Slayer with Underworld versus Crucifer with Imperial Nobility. Um, and in the booth with me is Fymir. Hello. Hello everybody. Welcome to this game between Moomin Slayer and my favorite lad, Crucifer. <laughs> that gave me one of my CCL championships when I was playing in his team. <laughs> yep. As a zero SPP uh, <laughs> Chaos Dwarf. Crucial, crucial to the success there. Crucial, vital, vital. I mean, I was one of the chores. <laughs> it's two more snotlings on. Um, so, yeah, so Chris has gone six guard, spam the guard, max guard, love that, and then spam the blodge as well. So, I really, I really like that. And then a leader. I really, I really like Christopher's um, build for the. Imperial Nobility didn't really not that big a fan of like I think Kian Dare's build's fine right but it's only four guard and stuff I, I, I prefer this just spam guard um, 13 players Moomin Slayer has 15 players uh, that's no 16 he must have yeah he must have oh, sorry don't wait for the course he's got 16 uh, 13 on the pitch right now he's got the sidestep gutter he's got the juggernaut roger and then he's gone for protection with uh, blop and wrestle for his uh, line rats and uh, thrower. Wait. Yeah, the thrower's got block as well, but he's not on the pitch. Oh, interesting. You'd think you'd feel the thrower if he wasn't an extra arms thrower, wouldn't you? Yeah. Super interesting. Question here is a. Uh... Crucifer has uh, no tackle at all on the team, but the ones we dodge in uh, most of the ones we dodge in uh, moving the layer team are snodling, so yeah, yeah. Like Key and Dare went with a more balanced uh, thing, hub and bub and uh, Key and Dare went with block on the rogue, on the block on the ogre, and a tackle guy and a dodge guy, and you know, and a dirty player and only four guard. But I really like, I really like the spamming the guard. I really do like the guard spam for Chris's build. That's what I prefer. <laughs> Turn on all skills. The problem with all skills is um, just how many there are. The, the, there's not least disappear if you put all the skills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, good luck seeing anything with all of the skills on. Yeah, no, no. There's, all skills on is not really an option. Yeah, not removing anybody. Um... That is a, an appalling first turn from Cruz. Jimmy, fantastic like first turn for Cruz. <laughs> well, at least he picked up the ball and was able to get the cage done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's really surprising that uh, Jesus was so appealing. Not even a stance. Yeah. Oh, flip me. Hello, Dimmy. Nibs OP. <laughs> Nibs OP. And uh, yeah, Dwyer and Rando, yeah, yeah, they just do ABC and that in the first in the first series, first season, and then they uh, then they sort them into the ranks. Yeah, the stiletto won won, won the play the playing game for Cruz, right? If he hadn't got that stiletto, yeah. maybe he loses. But the stiletto just won the game single handedly. It was incredible. <laughs> Piling in with the guard. Especially versus uh, other things, was that was uh, very poetic justice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was hilarious. He refused to use his, his assassins, didn't he? And then, and then Chris just stabbed everything to death. <laughs> Ooh, wow, not one to the left. Interesting. He's blitzing a snotling with block, then? He I thought he'd have blitzed this guy with a wrestler, like, you know, because then he would have had four wide guard, like this guy. I expect this guy to blitz him. But he's not. He's not going like. Right. Oh, okay. So it's the ogre blitz? blitz with the ogre. He's gonna blitz the rogue. He's gonna blitz the rogue with the ogre. Of course he is. Wow. Oh, oh there's the power. Beautiful. Oh, and boy. now he can uh, put the ogre to the right and isolate the rogue there. Mm. 
So yeah, like that. I mean, it's a hundred. It's it's like a hundred and sixty k or something, isn't it, for an armor eight guy? So yeah, just storm in and try and take him out. Fair enough. And now the question is, how many of his own teammates will hit the roger? <laughs> yeah. Because now that's a really really bad position for the roger because just getting up is dangerous. <laughs> yes. And using it to blitz. Who are you going to blitz? Yeah. You know, you, you have the the ogre or the lino or the blotch piece. Those are not the ones of pieces you want to, you know, to hit with frenzy. No. Do you know what I think you could do? Just move everyone away from the roger and then try the four plus stand up. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so he does get this hit there. That was that was why I would have blitzed that guy to like completely shut down retribution. But um, but this oh dear okay oh no it was to do that hit okay okay well I wasn't gonna hit the other guy but it makes sense to hit this is he gonna go for the ball he can't really I guess ah uh, how he could he could uphill oh my god so he's he's GFI blitzing with a with a roger flip me. Into, a, into, into an uphill. <laughs> Flip me. Did he realise that was red dice? I mean, maybe oh he didn't. my god, that's how he said. Maybe the snotling had to go here because, you know, then it would have been a 2 into a 1. But he gets away with it and now there's a roger on the ball. Well, a roger on the ball? I mean, he can choose Grizzle. He's got, he's got Juggernaut. Oh, yes. True. So it doesn't really matter what he chooses here. <laughs> But getting to D or with on that rogue with all that guard is going to be very easy. Yeah. But I guess that takes out the assist here, so we can punch this one as well. So it takes out the guard assist. That was a pretty nice way of actually taking out the guard assist for this fella. So he gets to 2D him. He's got two more, two extra players as well. What What's going to be hilarious is if he moves in a snotling to this square. So that would have been where he would have been anyway to not make that an uphill. Gets the pow. Gets the AV break, maybe? No. <laughs> the, uh, the animations are still bugged. <laughs> okay, he's on the ball. Interesting. Wow. Wow, this is... Uh... I mean, he does just need to stand up these two guys, and then he can 2D the, the Roger. Yeah. He could even maybe surf the Roger, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that much guard around. He could even maybe maybe even surf it, but uh, he's not going to. He's just going to wrestle it down. Oh, no, he's He's pushing. And he sized up to there. Mm. Interesting. He has another. Uh, he can blitz and two dice the roger. Oh no, he's going for the. Yeah, he's got to to get the assist from it. But I, I, I thought he would. Uh, oh yeah, no, yeah, no. He had to size up there. I thought he'd just size up there, but he couldn't. Yeah. So yeah, it doesn't get him down. So he's still occupying him. Now he's, you know, now he's got to uh, bring in the assist or block with the guy oh no that was good enough i'm stupid sorry disregard wow this is early this is early so yeah he just needed to push him anywhere and that would give the two this is a five in the morning uh, somewhere in the world yeah exactly exactly yeah this is way too early <laughs> you can't expect any coherence from me at this point of the day oh gets the av break maybe yes yes <laughs> takes the heat off a bit I can just smash things. The problem of hitting the snotling with, with Grizzly is that it can uh, end very poor. <laughs> yeah. I think he's going. Uh, oh. Yeah, try to try to pull him onto the sidelines himself, isn't it? Like if he wants to follow, he's he's got to get close to the sidelines himself. 
Sidelines are pretty dangerous as a rogue, right? Even the stand firms, he's got Juggernaut for. Oh my god, third dice saves the ogre from disaster. <laughs> That was not arm breaking. I think that's the first arm break of the match. Yes, the first arm break uh, for uh, in the game. Yeah, <laughs> unbelievable. That only means there's gonna be a killer turn. You know, there was a couple of turns where everything dies because mm -hmm. the dice are waiting their moment. Oh man, he can just uphill. That's just an uphill, right? Strength two. Oh, you wimp! <laughs> you wimp! Weak. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't hear just uphilling him for the push and then and then one day the ball. But you know he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. No, but he has uh, an assist. Yeah, yeah, the goblin was the assist, right? I mean, it was the assist for the tackler, but oh, he said he's going to dodge and die. <laughs> okay, okay, this makes a uh, yeah, as I said. <laughs> Hey Jay Leaf, thanks for the raid. Always oh, oh, your thanks. stream. <laughs> well, he's still got like 12 players on the pitch. It's funny because, like, Underworld and don't not really. Not that have... many, not the uh, three hits for the imps here. Yeah. Only one. Yeah. They're interesting underworld because like they haven't really got anything good for defense, right? Except the roger. So, so really all they've got is desperation moves like uphills into one days and stuff. But then because they've got like you know twelve, eleven, twelve. Well, no, because they're starting with twelve, thirteen, or fourteen players. They don't really need to go for those desperation things. They you know they're really good at just standing in front with sidestep and strength one. Really wants to be stand standing in front and not not getting hit right and stuff so they want to just dodge everyone back an L screen better than L's because they've got 14 players so um, they're an interesting team to play defensively which is why I didn't take them because <laughs> I'm not an expert <laughs> yeah well done working through that dicing <laughs> Comedy mega. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, oof. Oof. <laughs> taking out for the skinks. Oof. Ooh, I, I like putting him on him. I thought it's a bit dodgy to uh, blitz him. I thought, yeah, I thought he'd 3D him. Oh, okay, no, he's not 3Ding him, he's 2Ding him. Interesting. Interesting. I wanted to blitz him with the ogre, but then it's really, it's really, it's really like risky, right? To blitz him with the ogre. So I thought, well, you don't really want to blitz him with the ogre, but you do want the ogre there, and you do want the ogre basing him. So yeah, Chris did the safe thing of basing him. I thought, well, you know, you want to support him if you're just basing him, but then he did just blitz him as well. Super interesting. Finally knocks down a clan rat. If he breaks and again. Bricks. Mm. So the roger can blitz and then run over here. That's not terrible. Yeah, this and again, a uh, crucifer uh, getting the ball in the exact opposite side of the speech of the roger. <laughs> yeah. That's why the crucifer always excel at the positioning and uh, pitch control. Yep. Looks like he's going to 1D the ogre, doesn't it? And then maybe not stand the yeah yeah just go for the four plus oh, activation oh. because you can't kill anybody doing it. <laughs> Huge one. Yep. Oh, so yeah, one D blitz gets the pow. Flip me. Oh, oh my god, call the apple. <gasps> There's no apple. Oh, call it. There's no apple. Chris does not have an apple. Couldn't afford one. There you go. See? I'm moving. I'm moving. The slayer has the apple. What a great, what a great oh one. Oh my day. god, what a, what a <laughs> removal. <laughs> Flip me. Diced. <laughs> 
Imp Nob's not looking the strongest team in the world right this second. And you know, he's, he's so mobile, right? All these snotlings are all there, everything's in the middle. And while Truce might be able to get down the side this turn, he's, you know, everything's going to get slammed in the next turn. So this is uh, it's very tricky for Truce. Gets the Blitzing with down. block. Yep. Who needs tackle? Yeah, this is not not so easy to push down here. With the two, no, there are uh, two two idiots there. So yeah. <laughs> two idiots. <laughs> yeah. So I think yeah, maybe just gonna stay central. Pile yeah, in. maybe you know, just advance a little. One square, two square stops. Yes, yeah, it's pretty nice. Very conservative, isn't he, Cruz? So, as a rule. Well, he's a uh, turn five, so, and he's already on the position pitch side, so. Yeah, he's got a lot of stuff in front. The ball isn't very deep, but he's, his team's deep, isn't it? His team is like about halfway in, so. Decent amount of penetration for Cruz thus far. And at some point. The underworld will fail a roll, dodge, or uh, whatever. Maybe. Do you know what this is? Uh, do you know what uh, is big here? Um, Fend. <laughs> because he stood up the roger, but um, he actually can't. Well, he, sh he shouldn't hit him with. He shouldn't hit this guy, right, with a clan rat, because if he hits him and pushes him, he can't follow. Like so that 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 will free the retainer to then remark the roger. So he's got to be careful and remember fender not block. That's the knockdown. Yeah, that was the uh, the lineman. He's got one lineman with guard and then plus the four, the four uh, bodyguards. Do you want to put a snot on the line or is the question? <laughs> Do you want to wrestle and then you still haven't freed your ogre? <laughs> oh, well, well, well. Oh, dear. Goblin dominance there. Much better than a knob blocker. Are they called blockers? No, bodyguards, aren't they? They're not called blockers now. They're called bodyguards. Yeah, they're bodyguards. And Mamin Slayer again uh, managing to reduce the number of free hits uh, next time. Yeah, yeah, pretty nice. Oh, okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's pretty good. And he's just going to leave this guy on the ground here. Wow, and really nice two stuns there. So with the ogre out and the two stuns, this is a very, very, very tricky turn for Crucifer. Hello, or to join, not bad, thanks. Not bad tanks. But yeah, this is very, very tricky for Chris now. Maybe he's regretting taking a useless team. Nobody knows. <laughs> the ogre is dead, dead, dead. <laughs> yeah. This is the thing, like, the six guards, great, right? Six guard, two blodgers is just brilliant. You're like, well, this has got to be good, hasn't it? And then, but the problem is, Underworld aren't good. And not, not Underworld, that was idiotic thing to say. Imperial Nobility are not good. Their skills package, amazing. Six guard and two blodge, amazing. But, knobs, contrary to Dimmy's belief, <laughs> are not OP. And each match is like, is that tension between the great skills package and just how, you know, yeah, not also, great the team uh, is. Crucifer is really unlucky with the armor rolls and the injury rolls. I mean, all the snodlings are still on the pitch. Yep, yep. Yeah, and and the one the cast day. that the Moomin Slayer got was a, a failed dodge. Yep, yep. <laughs> I know, I know, it's shocking. Yeah, shocking. <laughs>
Shocking coming from uh, DMG. <laughs> I don't know if you are going to have uh, be able to trust uh, Dimi's advice about living in France when you go there, uh, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Oh, dear. Yeah, he's got. He's, so he's gonna have to bring in a guard to, to behind to stop that. We might have some kind of one nil, one nils, one d's for a block on the ball. I might just continue to stay safe. Yeah, the only thing that is helpful is there's not Lin Stackelson's are crab. Yes, and he has a dodge in more than a and catch in more than a, in two pieces. So. You know, the final potato is always an option. Yep. I wonder if he's just going to uphill with the wrestle, honestly. It's not even bad, is it? Now, now he's a uh, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, yeah, he's a... Uh... Ooh, ooh, he's going to chain him out. <gasps> he's going to chain him for the 1D. Lovely play. 1D chain for the for the uh, 1D. He's probably going to dodge this snotling off. And so he one day him, push him there, push him there, push him there, and then he gets a one day with wrestle. Really nice. Oh, the rogue is my god. Not. The rogue, rogue is mine. So yeah, one day blitz, wrestle blitz, gets the pow. Oh, he, he's another oh. chain, so he can uh, put the ball in an area. He can't, he can't chain him though, that's the one that you would have wanted to chain. So yeah, he obviously stands firm. And he catches it with catch! Oh my goodness! There you go, catch, boor, imperial knobs, skill set perfect for every game. <laughs> knobs or It's pink. all an elaborated ruse by Crucifer to give the ball to the... to the blodger. Yeah, he just ends up in a better spot. Amazing. Aha, uh -huh, so now... The fend actually costs him because he's not marking the roger anymore. <laughs> well, he had the option, didn't he? He had the option, so he chose not to. Interesting. Maybe he's going to blitz the snotling and then try and get over here. I don't know. I think he can just break through hitting things. It's tricky. Really tricky with, with the sidestep and lack of block. Like he might. I guess he'll try, right? He'll make all the I mean, look at that guard there right? offering assists for uh, one, two, three, four, four players. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, is that what it is, Randy? Thank you very much. I never knew that. Yeah, he called them, like, he, he's how to make a smoothie. Uh, furniture. There's some other ones as well, isn't there? But I never knew. Oh, oh okay. My God. <laughs> My God, finally a mystery solo. Thanks, Randy Tanner. Yeah. Gets the pow. Yeah, I'll watch. 3D once again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but not armor breaks, I mean. No. No, these are, these are bloody titanium armored underworld, aren't they? Flip me. Yeah. You really kind of need these armor sevens and sixes and fives to break. Well, there's no, there's no, there's no sixes, is there? These are six plus, and everything else is armor eight plus. Oh, there is a nine plus in the blitzer. Yes, it's coming blitzer. Yeah, and the uh, and the rogue. And he had one like called, called like boredom or something, didn't he? <laughs> or tedium or. Tiredness, tiredness, that was it. He had tiredness, <laughs> owl watch, furniture, and how to make a smoothie. He had another one like things in my living room or something, didn't he? I remember. Yeah. <laughs> 3D gets the pow. And a removal. Shocking. Yeah, so he he just shuffles along a bit. That I think that was right to blitz that snotling, and then yeah, and then just so he didn't he could, he couldn't have he didn't have enough to go up the middle, but he gets to uh he gets to go about here, which is pretty nice. 
Ooh, dodge. So we can take both hits. Super interesting. Oh, and also we can get the other guy forward. Okay. And, now, oh. and the other dodge while really going forward because he just recognizes, I guess, how much he's got to get forward. And yeah, I mean, it's turn happen. seven, so next turn is scoring time. Oh. Oh, well, instead he's dead. <laughs> that went very quickly. <laughs> that was a bludger. Yep, that was a bludger. One in nine, and then died. After he retagged as well. He, oh, but he went one, two, three, right? He couldn't go any other way. Because he would have had to judge away from that, that snotling, so... To get there, he had to that's, double dodge. That's absolutely brutal. What a <laughs> dicing. It's a bit of a dicing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a dicing. <laughs> Fails one dodge, dies. Makes, like, makes about, what, two or three dodges. Fails one and dies. Gets one D, dies. Uh, he failed the dodge and died, but obviously the other dodges have worked. Oh, we could have uh, could have chained him out, right? Could have chained the ball carrier out. Yeah, he's, he's thinking about cages now, isn't he? Uh, cages, chains and stuff. Roger is gonna he was gonna Roger because he's got Juggernaut. Feels the Lorna, so he's gonna blitz him into there and then and then into there, I guess. But then that wasn't great, was it? Interesting. So now he's got to try and get stuff back in front. Wait. It's complicated because he already moved all his stuff back. <laughs> yeah, I think this guy should have maybe dodged, right? To just get this guy back in front as well, somewhere. Like, dodge to here. But then, I... He's got the one turn, right, Mimin Slayer, but it's, uh, it's a bit tricky versus the... Um, Yeah, I don't think the the, the rogue blitz was going to be that good, honestly. At least he will put the rogue, you know, in the area of action. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, other than that, doesn't take the board down. Interesting. And doesn't sidestep. I think that the, the guard the that is more useful. He's got because to clear now the he can hit the Skaven. He's got to clear the space though. Like it's it's a problem. Isn't it? I didn't like the sidestep. I think that you should have sidestep to here. You know, because like you want, like this guy is not in the way of the ball, is he? Like you need to be in the way. Like, yeah. I think this guy had the sidestep to there. Yeah. Well, he's powering everything. Oh, big power there. Oh, this is a bit dodgy now because he's got to get a power in one of these two blocks. Or maybe he'll just blitz with the blodger. You might just blitz this guy with a blodger and commit to a dodge. Because if he pushes him and pushes him again, he's completely st stopping the touchdown. Yeah, it's a uh, 2 d into a uh, 1 in 9, so. Yeah. yeah, so that's what he's decided to do. Yeah, he's not taking the risk of pushing him twice. But he's got three rerolls, so I think maybe he should have done. But another KO. The the guy carrying the ball is the one doing all the heavy lifting. Yep. It's like watching a team with grief overwall. Mm. It is, yeah. One guy that's all the work. Yep, crap Griff carrying the team. <laughs> but now we will we see a one turn. We've seen. Elliot so far, out of all the competitors, look like he knows how to one turn. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> will Will Boomin Slayer display his uh, one turning abilities? Oh, and he's got Fend here to stop the Roger Blitz in, right? Which is interesting. Oh, there you go. So he's gonna have to blitz. He's going to have to roll a blitz a bodyguard and get the things. He's got rogue. He's got a rogue show me magic. Rogue with juggernaut. So he can get the two pushes. The problem is he's got to uh, get them all kind of directly. 
um, instantly off the two, first two hits because he can't get another hit. So he has to work out how he can get them both forward with I the guess, I'm guessing the Snodlings uh, will uh, fill the uh, spots. So it looks like he's going to come in here, push to there, and then the second hit um, will be hitting him here from here, which will then get the second one. So yeah, it should be fine, right? Yeah, it should be fine just blitzing in like this. <laughs> One extra snotling. This terrible block thrower instead of an extra arms thrower. <laughs> Is a huge single point of failure now for the one turn. Brilliant coaching. Uh, goes to Cruz. So you probably do the pass now, right? While he's only in one tackle zone. Because your plan is to get him into two. So, yep, he goes straight for the pass. Makes the pickup. Fails the catch at first. Gets the catch. This is just a very simple blitz, isn't it? There's uh, yep. Maybe he could have made this a 3D blitz, honestly. Gets the push. And now that he, now he can get a power with the second one, it's totally fine. And now it's like a bunch of threes because he didn't take two heads on his uh, gutter runner. <laughs> so yeah, this is a uh... a few threes with uh, lots of rerolls and DFIs with lots of rerolls. Yeah. So this is the uh, whole one turns look like. My, maybe you don't love, uh, like it, but this is it. <laughs> it's certainly not peak one turns, right? Peak one turns no. would have two heads. Like this is the problem where he's, he's given these wrestle to his clan rats, and the wrestle's done things right. But it, you know he could have dropped like the the two wrestle off his clan rats, and then he could have had sidestep, and he could have had two heads on his gutter as well, and then then this is just all twos to score. Yeah, um, no, you can't do that, Doctor the Dog, unless you find a second. Blitz with a second juggernaut. <laughs> or I guess you can hope Cruz misclicks. Um, Wait. Oh, oh. He's just wasting uh, time here. No, he wants to go for the other... Uh... I mean, he can't. Unless, unless this snotling develops juggernaut really quickly and makes a second blitz. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, it was a hit, a regular hit, okay. Uh, here we go. Oh my god, he rolled all the threes! Oh my god! He rolled all of the threes. He didn't even pop dodge. That was a lot of fives there. Okay, he guys, to the Blue Bull 3D score, obviously it's impossible to ra roll that many fives in a row. That's, oh. that's the rigged It's Yahtzee, game. isn't it? It's Yahtzee. He got, he got five fives. Yahtzee there. He got a Yahtzee there. This is, uh, I hope, uh, <laughs> when you met the person in charge of the Mr. RNG at Montpellier, you know, you the man answers. <laughs> he pressed the big red button against Cruz. Flip me. <laughs> Flip me. <laughs> <laughs> click right click ends on. <laughs> and now Crucifer uh, facing a defense without the ogre and one of the bloggers. Yep, yep. But he's still got 11 players for now. Of course, uh, Moomin Slayer might have uh, 13 See, players. This is what you have. You have a chatting game you could have written oh my god those were the odds of winning the lottery <laughs> but you just scored a touchdown in a senseless blood ball game <laughs> yep wow wow he oh he's gonna attack her he's gonna attack her look he's got the he's got the ogre back here he's gonna attack her Fwoah. love to see a dacker All right, I'll be back in a second. Yes, glorious. Glorious Dakar. It could just like fully column, right? 
he could just fully call him, but he's uh, not going to. Fully calling him is just better. Because like he's only worried about the, the blitz. So he could fully call him. Um, you know, two here, two here, two here, two here, two here. This is just worse than fully calling him. Columning in. Columning in. Columning? Columning? <laughs> okay, I'll learn how to speak one day. Doesn't get the blitz. Uh, kind of almost deserved the blitz, right, for setting up. Um, not in full columns, but... Brilliant swarming, isn't it? Both come on where the ball is. Got to catches it. And uh, oh, okay. he's one dodge and a two plus with a reroll, and he gets the whole team off. Thirteen players versus eleven, and a glorious Dacker. I do think Moomin Slayer should have gone with, with a two heads though, because he's he's kind of like playing in that. You know, he's he's it's done a weird. We had a few different builds for the. Uh, for the underworld one like just went into protection with like block on the gutter and stuff uh Elliot's build is fully one turn uh, though he doesn't have the juggernaut roger which is wild right wild to not have the juggernaut roger and then go fully one turn um moomin slayers is you know not fully one turn right it's half and half he's got the juggernaut and the sidestep but hasn't got the two heads or the extra arms so he's like split the difference and then uh Artemis, of course, has gone all all damage, which uh, I'm I'm not a fan of. I think you want to. I think you want to lean in the one turn. And later so today, you will be able to see the game Artemis Black versus Andy Davo, yeah. AA action. <laughs> yes. Yep. That. Don't be put on. that on a certain side. <laughs> certain bars. <laughs> The thing uh, here is the uh, Jimmy extra arms and two heads involve that you are scared of failing rolls. <laughs> you don't fail rolls, those skills are useless. That's true, that's true. Oh, well, I see later today if uh, you are watching this live here on Twitch. Yep. Especially if you're a subscriber, if you're watching this on YouTube, well, uh, you can uh, probably be able to watch it whenever you want. <laughs> yeah. Six hours time. The uh... Yes. But you'll need to watch after these ads on YouTube. <laughs> and if the ads pop up there, just yes, there, it's going to be my masterpiece. <laughs> oh, you can blitz through, gaping hole from Cruz without follow. Uh, that follow was uh, could be a bit of a mistake, right? You can blitz this guy and get through. That's exactly what he does. Yep. Very well behaved, uh, Roger. That they didn't kill. Uh... Oh my God! Yep. Remove, removed a knob instead of a instead of his own player. Love to see it. And yeah, now they can all just go straight straight through this guy, pretty much. It's maybe a bit too soon to go through. Maybe that was a purple. Maybe that was like a trap, a trap, uh, a trap gap from, <laughs> from Chris yeah. to encourage him to go through quickly. But I still think you've got to take it. Like versus Chris, you might not get through at all, right? So at least just take, at least just take getting through. This snotling can like go one, two, three, four, five, like GFI. That's that's amazing, right? Like. Two dodges and a GFI, and then that that. See, I don't like this. The thing, um, yeah, I, is maybe Crucifer is uh, interested in more or less getting moving his layer to score quickly. Yeah, so he can counter the score and go to overtime. Exactly. Yeah. So like maybe it was a bit of a trap, a trap and, gap. And Imperial Nobility is a. Decent the speed team, so you know it's not like you the the gutter runner is movement nine, yes, but the rest of the team is not as fast. Yeah, but I still think it's... also Kilmatronics. Be careful, be careful, because I could start making ads right now, and I could start making an ad about Manscape right now. <laughs> God, hello, 
Hello, Hellboy. You know, you want me to talk about how uh, Jimmy uh, man escapes his uh, inner parts before going to France? <laughs> it's important. It's hashtag men's hell. It's hashtag uh, men. <laughs> Yeah, this is the problem, right? Like, I don't think you want this as Chris, right? Although that could have been a trap. It doesn't, sure doesn't look like one now, does it? No, this just no, it doesn't like look a like a trap. For no, no, no. This looks maybe, like maybe a bit it's of a, a disaster. It's a thing that in three turns we discover the master play, but right now it looks that he's going to be able to keep the ball for a while. Yeah, it looks rough. I mean, snotlings are insane. They're basically just better than goblins, right? Most of the time, snotlings are just better than goblins because they dodge on twos. They're basically just adju up goblins. <laughs> if that was a trap, please let me stick my hand in it. Yeah. Oh well, dead snotling finally, finally. Finally, the. Oh, is this going to be a a regretless second half when everything goes bad for Rick in the first half? <laughs> And then everything works in the second half, so he can get more uh, subs. Yeah, maybe. 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 Yeah, I mean, if the underworld team doesn't lose the snodlings, it's like, there is nothing you can do. Yeah. It's a team, you know, the sign is to take in an account you're going to lose two, three players per uh, drive. If you don't lose them, it's ultra-powerful. Yep. So he does get a few a few round. But you know the thing is the thing is now <laughs> he can just go back if he wants, right? He can just go back to here and stuff. Uh, so he can surf a guy, he can do all sorts of things, but he's just gonna keep pushing on. Not what I would have done, but Okay, no I'm not a fan of that. No. I mean he's gonna blitz the blotch guy with a uh, Russell. Yeah, but it's turn 11, you know, uh, Cruz is going to have uh, time. Yeah, not a fan of this, but... Um, like, because he's just, he's just outpaced the protection, right? Like, that's the problem. He, he could have he could have surfed this guy, right? He could have uh, surfed him. Could have blocked everything here and then just, like, kept the ball where it was, basically. Yes, so we've got a ball sack on at the moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not even difficult, right? A dodge. Dodge and two GFIs. That's a bit, uh. A bit not excellent from, uh. from Moomin Slayer. But understandable, right? He's, he's in a big competition. It's versus Cruz. Uh, and, he, you know, he and he's taking all the space uh, he can, but as I said, I think he he underestimated the speed of the Imperial nobility. Yeah, he's, he's got to do this dodge, yeah, he makes the dodge, he's got to do the dodge. And okay, back. now yeah. now he's... Uh... Yeah. One, two, three, four, oh yeah, the runner, oh my god, yeah, the blitzer on a four, then a three, and then two, two, so maybe he should go one back. Maybe he should go one back. He should go one back, shouldn't he? He should have gone one back there. So, moving so they went the same square that I thought of. You know, keep the screen here and everything. But he should have done the GFI to stop the... Yeah, good spot there. Good spot, show me magic. Good spot. Oh, Gdaini coming here with a true knowledge GFI. of a master of Blood Bowl. Exactly, GFI. give them the orc thrower. So. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Nick. Very good. That's what honestly. That's the biggest buff about Biggins. Not the fact that they're suddenly movement five and can go anywhere and do anything and like absolutely a million times stronger because their their black orcs were changed to Biggins and got plus one movement. The real buff is that Mister Throw can't outrun his cage anymore. <laughs> he should have GFI'd with this tackle because this is just it's still just a four three, three. Like it's too easy. It's just too easy. He had to. He had to GFI. Well. I think. Safe move first. Yeah, yeah, this wrestle can come round the corner. Maybe, maybe he won't go for it, right? Maybe he'll just try and get the pressure on for next turn to, uh, like, you know, he doesn't want to fail it and fail, I guess. So he, he might just, he might, he might, he's very, he is very conservative, Chris, so he might, he might uh, not go He's for the ball, thinking so. right now about the fail estate. 
Yeah, it looks like he's going for it, doesn't it? It looks like he's going for it. Yes. I mean, he's taking such damage, I guess that's if, the thing. If he fails with his uh, play, you know, they still has a lot of players in the area with guard, Gressel. Yeah. So a moment is later, doesn't have many places to go. Yeah. There was an argument for not going for it. Or like maybe blitz the snotling and stuff, you know, and then and then dodge out on the three, right? Could three dice blitz this snotling and then dodge out there and then run back. But I don't think he wants to make it two two. Yeah, that oh. is what he does. Yeah. I just don't, I just don't think this is right. Honestly, I think he, I think he had to roll the dice because it's you know he's he's down the ogre, he's down the blitzer. I feel like you know just this isn't good enough versus these uh, you know, versus underworld. I think he's going to struggle with overtime, but oh, you can't, you can't fend, uh, you can't fend Juggernaut, can you? So he could surf this guy if he wanted. He's not scoring, that's for sure. Yeah, hundred percent not scoring. Now, any fail roll right now. Is a bad clenching time for a Moomin Slayer. He has the advantage, but it's a very thin advantage. Okay, now Ooh. he's better. Yeah. Man, those dice. <laughs> yep. Feels like uh, CNI doesn't want to take the risk of doing the paperwork to send the money to <laughs> Russia. <laughs> yep. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. So that snotling can go there, can't it? Which is all right. And then you can dodge this guy off last. Roger. Yeah, well, it was the safest move to do with the Roger. Yeah, most reliable big guy. <laughs> well, at least the Roger is still on the pitch, not like the Ogre. Yep. <laughs> Look a dog. <laughs> this is double elimination, yeah. So whoever, whoever you know, win, whoever loses isn't out. So they've got that going for them. Um, I'll tell you who they play if you want. Uh, it's Elliot versus Diamed. Oh my god, yeah, what a crazy little bracket. What a crazy little mini bracket. The winner of this play is Elliot or Diamed. And, well, and does the loser, so yeah. Whoever loses this is uh, in serious danger of going out versus the next one as well. Oh, he's, he's dodged that guy out and put him there. I think he's uh, thinking about the Snodling because the other pieces. Uh, he must be going yeah, to he's here. going for the, the, the that side to cover that. Oh! I didn't like that. I, I like going through this way. This way was less dodges, right? He could have gone one, two, three, four, five. So I think his way went an extra dodge, but I think he might have failed going my way too. But yeah, I would, I would have not. I would have gone uh, a bit, you know, minimum dodges, I think. G'day, Coggy. Uh, well, you can do this and you can see hey, all the stuff about them. Um, the names that we're not so familiar with, well, my, like us online people, I imagine Smilzo and uh, Plotinus are the only two names not from Blood Bowl 2, I think, looking at that. Yeah. Yep. I'm not sure how much Strider well, played chain. on Blood Bowl 2. I think Stride is more tabletop and fumble. He but can uh, hit the ball. Change the blodger uh, to the. Yep. Yep, that was that was a real bad square for this wrestler to stand in. Yep, and he's he's seen it and done it. And now he's a uh, three plus three two. to be on the ball. Yep. Man. And if he sidesteps into a scoring, it works well for a... for Crucifer because he gives him enough time for a... 
to counter score. Yep. Man. Oh, there is a tackle there, so he's got to punch him first. Oh, but then if he does punch him first, he's got to go through there. So maybe he does go through there. Maybe you punch him first. And it just and it saves you the GFI anyway, right? So yeah, I think I think yeah, it's all yeah, upside yeah, yeah, to yeah. You have three rolls. You can use one on this. Hit that guy. Yeah, it's it's no cost of doing the blitz here, really. Maybe very slightly, but only very slightly. I think I think you do, and you're seventy five percent to knock him down. Can he run around and fill it in? Okay, so he does the GFIs to fill it in anyway. And then that that uh, that saves him making the second dodge. I think that was worse, honestly. But <laughs> honestly, I, mean, I think I that was worse. Take the wrestle here. I know. No, he's doing it. To get the chain. Yeah, that's mm. when he makes the dodge. Gets the pout. I guess it gave him more movement to react and make the recovery. Right. Um. Oh, but the problem is. <laughs> <laughs> he gets surfed. He got the stun though. But he'll get surfed if he picks it up, so he can't pick it up. Or maybe he's gonna try. Flip me. Oh my god, there's oh a Giovanni in the death! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, he could have jumped! Yeah, he could have jumped! Oh my god! He could have jumped! And then he could have got off the, but then but he still can't really get off the off the back line because he could still get served, but it'd be, it would have been harder. Oh wow. my goodness! Wow! wow. I mean, <laughs> two wow! Dead, two dead blodgers. <laughs> wow! Now all of a sudden the, the the store looks very easy without that guy being there at all. Well, uh, we're going to have an amazing game, Crucifer versus Elliot or Diomed in the <laughs> next game. Yep. Yeah, well, I mean, wow, they're, they're both playing them. They're, they're both playing them next anyway, right? Like, that's the thing. Whoever wins or loses is playing the other one. But, yeah, it's it's sure looking like Cruz is going to be in the loser's bracket. So that just, it just really, that really adds to the importance of winning. Uh, winning I mean, not, obviously, Moomin Slayer's just beaten Chris, right? So it's not like, it's not like Moomin Slayer's an easy game. Moomin Slayer's got bloody underworld. Played this very well, right? Didn't, did the correct one turn. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, he did uh, all well. the right things. I mean, don't get me wrong. Moomin Slayer is a top, 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 top coach. But Jesus Christ, the dice went his way this game. Yeah, he's just not Cruz, is he? Like that's the thing. It's you know, it's, yeah, you know, it's fair enough, isn't it? People can be really good and not Cruz. Yeah, Cruz <laughs> is a top, 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 top coach. You know, uh, one top for every it is here. He has. <laughs> yeah, but uh, with his dice, I mean, anyone could have uh, beaten uh, Cruz. Cruz have more or less. Not Kill. anybody, not anybody. Believe me, believe not me, not no, that's anybody. True, that's true. That's true. That's true. But probably wait, wait a second. there is still more more time for Cruz to kill his own players. <laughs> probably any of the top sixteen. Pro probably anybody in this competition would have done. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of people that wouldn't. <laughs> there's plenty of people that would have got those dice and still not won. Actually. Well, if someone can recover from these uh, mood swings, is a uh, crucifer, the proper Iceman. Yeah. But uh, this game is. This chain is pretty nice. It frees up two players that can become relevant. If it's a pal. But yeah, if you'd bet on anyone here, it would be Cruz, wouldn't it? Just because. You know, of, the, of all, as you say, all the CCLs he's won and the the laddering that he's done, um, and the, he also won Billy Speed. He also uh, did a lot of things. There is no argument that the Crucifer has been a, one of the bigger forces in the Blood Bowl history. Blood Bowl, yeah. Online Blood Bowl history. Yeah, yeah. Blood Bowl Two is the force, not not one of the biggest forces. He was the force in Blood Bowl Two, I'd say. <laughs> oh, yes. Ooh, interesting. So he is only freed up one player, right? If he if he had one deed that, he could have pushed him to here and freed up two players. But now he can only free up one player. 
So, um, I was going to blitz with the other guy. Yeah, okay, so this this, this throw is going to have to run around here and blitz or something. It's, it doesn't look very good, does it, really, to be honest? <laughs> uh, well... I guess the thing is, it's, it stops Moomin Slayer stalling with the ball, doesn't it? Yeah. Because it's in the, the ball being in the end zone. But it's turn 14. Yeah, I think he just scores. I think you just have to score because, first of all, you could 1 in 36 the pickup. And second of all, you know, there's a bit of pressure here from Cruz. Like, you could just dodge everybody off and blitz the other one. So, like, you could make a, a full cage. He's going to blitz with a tackler. There you go. Yep. Another removal. Wow. Well, <laughs> well, that, this is blue ball. It, it is it, that's what he says in the can? Yep. Yeah, he's gonna go. He's gonna go for the stall. He can stall another time. I think uh, right now he has a. He can dodge uh, goblins. Hit with the roger. Yeah. The only problem is, um, yeah, I thought he'd do this. Can he get around doing this? One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah. I, mean, I thought he shouldn't. I thought that's what he would do, but not what he should do. I thought, okay, yeah. No, so no, there is the goblin, goblin there, yeah. crossing that door. I think he, he should have. I think he should have done that. The, the snotling to there, because he still got sidestep, right? So he still can't scatter it. I think the. I think. Uh, I think it was a bit. Bit dodgy there. Big boy dodge. <laughs> so right, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a four, three, two, two. Yeah, four, three, two, two. To so two D the ball. Well, not two D the ball. Two D the gutter. Which doesn't really achieve anything. Does he just dodge in and pick it up? <laughs> That's not that. Bo oh, I think he'll. Score. He's putting a lot of faith in the, the thrower blitzes. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's he a has to. Blitz. He has to. He's got. He's got no blitzes left. <laughs> 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 These are up here. He ain't got anything left. That's a lineman. So yeah. Yeah, I think you just go for the pickup here. I think you just go for the pickup. Like you know, I think I think Chris had to go for like the ball or something there because I think he just gets scored on and then but then I guess you know maybe Chris thinks he could score a two turn. So maybe he just thinks he goes for the pressure and then gets the two turn. Okay, now is when Moomin is late, he has to go for the yes, he's going for the score. Yeah, I think he has to. Makes the pickup. And that gives uh Crucifer two turns. Yeah. Tall order. It is, yeah, especially when he's he could have thirteen players on the field. No he can't. He's only got five. He's only got five snotlings. So he'll only have twelve players on the on the pitch. No. No he can't. Okay, I I didn't see him behind the roger. Honestly I didn't see him behind the roger then. He's got six. He's got six snotlings. No, that's a goblin. Oh my god. That's a goblin. I thought two snotlings were out, so he does have five snotlings, so he can have two on and field two, so maybe 13 players, including four sidesteppers. So, yeah, this could be a very difficult touchdown. I don't know. Uh, equity, there is always equity there, you know. Uh, so <laughs> miracle will happen, but I, I guess this is a time where, you know, the Moomin Slayer gets a blitz. <laughs> <laughs> if only he had movement seven blodges with catch, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know why uh, Crucifer decided to play without bludgers or the ogre. Yeah, yeah it was. A... What a what a weird team composition. <laughs> it was an interesting decision to play without those three players. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh dear. So, oh, and now he can put the snotling on the LOS because. Uh, 
because you know it's a side step on the LOS, so it holds the LOS better, and then he's got the one or two extras can keep them all safe. So and yeah, oh man, oh man, this is. Uh, I think maybe what he should have done was I think he's set up wrongly here, because one of the reasons that we do the uh, the col uh, what the chevrons is because the middle's held quite well by by the uh, by the LOS right, and and these two guys in here. Whereas if you go full columns like this. You have a gaping hole in the centre, and obviously, if you'd just gone full columns, then the extra snotling could have filled the middle. So that was a bit of a mistake, I think, from Moomin Slayer doing this, uh, doing these kind of you know chevrons instead of columns. Deep, um, not very deep kick, but in the wrong side of the pitch. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you need offset LOS. No, I think I think full columns, full columns. And an LOS, and then he, with if you get both snotlings, you get full columns across the complete board, which is insane. <laughs> you can just get complete columns. I think off solo is a terrible idea. <laughs> yeah, the knob thrower. <laughs> he's got what has he got he's got running pass hasn't he running pass and pass so he does have pass and he's got PF3 plus so he's nowhere near as good as a human thrower but uh, you know he's got a chance <laughs> shut up Timmy <laughs> I thought you'd stop drinking but here you are yeah it's all the meditation and all that. You know, he's getting high on that. <laughs> he can surf this this guy, can't he? Oh no, he can't. He hasn't got the movement. Yeah, he definitely should have column instead of Shepard. Yeah, yeah, he had to column there. I don't know when I would have worked out that I should have columned. I'd like to think that I would have worked it out before I set up, but I might, you know, it might, it might be dawning on Moomin Slayer right now. Oh, with the swarming, I should have just called him, you know, like that's. So, again, this is the thing. This is the familiarity aspect, right? Like Elliot, I'm sure would have would have columned and relied on his snotlings to fill the gap. Whereas that's another roll uh, gone. He's done the pass and it's deviated with a in with a uh, what's it called? Wildly inaccurate and now it's down here and almost out of range. <laughs> Oof. And he has to use a reroll because uh, the thrower doesn't have sure hands. Yep, yep. Oh dear. Oh no, Chris. Chris losing because knobs are rubbish. It's not over yet, though. I might have could cool still happen, but... Uh... It's looking bad, isn't it? All I know is Elliot wouldn't say it's over. <laughs> yeah, Elliot will refuse to say it's over. And he will say it's nearly over. It's nearly <laughs> over. It's 95% over, but... Oh, he can, hit the, he can hit him as well. Oh, okay, that's, it's over. Now it is over, hundred percent. Okay, not hundred yeah. percent. Okay, it was. I thought maybe you could have chained him. <laughs> maybe you could have chained somebody on the LOS back. But um, yeah, he obviously it was. Yeah, he, he couldn't. If Chris is, uh, you know, end of turn, he couldn't have done. So there you go. Uh, great win for Moomin Slayer, Underworld, or Underworld actually OP. As, as much as Dimmy loves to say <laughs> Nobs OP, Underworld actually OP. Um, but also, yeah, a bit of a dicing. I mean, not not a bit of a dicing. Uh, we could almost go comedy mega dicing there with the, the two dead blitzers and the uh, and the injured. The ogre, ogre. yes, and the fact that uh, no is no is not Lin was injured this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the not that was fine. That's, oof. <laughs> yes, Kian, the uh, moving is later uh, managed to. Uh... Yeah, Jugs Roger. That's the thing, isn't it? The thing that um, the thing that Elliot Elliot will be happy about this because he was really scared of of the stand firm knobs, right? Because he has got a troll instead of the Juggernaut Roger. So um, so yeah, so Elliot is really going to struggle 
to one turn versus Imperial Ability if he plays them, but um, Moomin Slayer isn't and didn't. So, yeah, exactly, yeah. Iron Skin, Snotlings, and Paper Armor, Nob. Yeah, 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 it was a... Oof. Pretty rough, pretty rough. But, you know, still well played by Moomin Slayer. Congrats to him. Commiserations to Chris. They, they will go through the winners and losers brackets, respectively. Thank you very much, Fymir, for joining me in the booth. Absolutely glorious. Glorious to be here. Uh, sad to see uh, the loss, but he gets another uh, shot next uh, in the next few days. Yep. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.